Hello, grade 9 students. So I'm back again. I am Teacher V and I'm here to guide you about the similarity and triangle similarity theorems. For grade 9 students, quarter 3, week 6 to 7. So again, ang topic dito is more on similar polygons and the triangle similarity theorem. So are you ready? Okay, so let's get started. Mm -hmm. So your learning task under assimilation. So this is the question. How do you find similar polygons? So paano nga ba natin nasasabi na similar yung ating polygons? Okay, similar polygons are those which have the same shapes. But it is not necessary to have the same size. The symbol for is similar to is this one. And when two polygons are similar, these two facts both must be true. So corresponding angles are equal. And the ratios of pairs of corresponding sides must all be equal. So para masabi nating similar polygons, hindi naman kailangan na pareho yung kanyang sukat. Yung size niya. Basta same yung shape at kailangan meron itong dalawang to. Kailangan yung kanyang corresponding angles are equal. Tapos yung ratio ng kanyang corresponding sides must all be equal. So kahit magkaiba ang kanilang size or sukat kung corresponding angles are equal and kanyang ratios ng corresponding sides ay equal, then we can say that the, the polygons are similar. Ayan. So, magkaiba ang similar polygons sa congruent polygons. Okay? Alright. Next. Next question. Are all squares similar? Explain your answer. So, ano sa palagay nyo? Similar ba lahat ng square? Okay. The answer is yes. All squares are always similar. Their size may be not equal, but their ratios of corresponding parts will always be equal. Okay? Equal palagi ang square kasi kahit anong size pa niyan, yung kanyang ratio ng corresponding parts will be always equal. Kasi pareho lang naman sila na laging 90 degree angles, yung interior angle natin. Tapos, four equal sides. Pare-pareho din ang sukat ng apat na sides niya. So, pag kinuha mo yung ratio ng dalawang square, kahit magkaiba pa ng size yan, dahil iisa lang naman sila ng sukat sa apat. Diba? Pag kinuha mo yung ratio niyan, lagi yung magiging proportional. Okay? At yung angle naman niya is always din equal kasi laging ang angle ng ating square ay 90 degrees. So, nakuha niyo ba? Okay, I hope so. Basta laging similar ang square, pero hindi laging equal yung kanyang size. I mean, yung sukat ng kanyang sides, hindi pa laging equal. Pero all the squares are similar. Okay? Next, number three, using the figure on the right, are the two triangles similar? If so, state the triangle similarity theorem and justify your answer. Okay, so we can see two triangles here and sasabihin natin kung sila ba ay similar. So let's have, or let's ha write down the corresponding parts of our triangle. So we have segment AR over CR is equal to segment BR over DR. So, tignan natin kung proportional yung kanyang mga sukat. So, substitute natin yung AR over CR. So, AR is 3, then CR is 6. So, kaya meron tayong 3, 6. And then yung BR, so ito yung BR is 2, and yung DR is 4. So, tignan natin, para malaman natin kung proportional, edi cross-multiply natin sila, 3 times 4, is 12, and 6 times 2 is 12. So, equal sila, meaning they are proportional. Or, ito pa yung isang paraan para malaman mo kung sila ba ay similar. Kunin mo yung mga lowest term ng dalawang ratio, or dalawang fraction natin, yung lowest term mo. At kapag pareho sila ng lumabas na lowest term, or yung tinatawag natin scale factor, they are similar. Okay? So, it's up to you kung ano na gusto nyo gamitin, kung cross-multiply na lang ba, o yung ganito na kinukuha natin yung lowest term. Ito yung ating two-column proof para ma-justify natin na they are similar. So, let's have AR over CR is equal to BR over DR. So, ayun yung given na yung kanina, or by hypothesis. So, itong AR over CR 
is equal to BR over DR. Then, B, angle BRA and angle DRC are vertical angles. Tignan natin. BRA, itong angle na to, and yung isa pa, DRC. Okay, so they are vertical angles. Hence, since they are vertical angles, angle BRA is congruent to angle DRC. Why? The reason, vertical angles are congruent. Uh, pakita na natin na yung dalawang sides natin ay congruent. Then, itong isang angle, which is itong angle R na to, angle BRA and angle DRC, they are congruent. So, meron na tayong dalawang sides and isang angle. Kaya, we can say na ang ating ginamit na similarity theorem ay by SAS. Side, angle, side, similarity theorem. Okay? So, they are similar by SAS. Okay, next. Uh, given triangle BAC and triangle EDF, state the proportions that must be true if triangle BAC is similar to triangle EDF by SSS similarity. Okay, madali lang to kasi SSS similarity lang naman or side, side, side. So, we can say that segment BA over segment ED, so ito yung kapareho niya ng pwesto, i-over lang natin, is equal to segment AC, kapareho niya is yung DF, and segment BC, kapareho niya yung segment EF. And by that, we can say that triangle BAC is similar to triangle EDF by SSS similarity. Now, given the statement that shows the proportionality of the three corresponding sides of two triangles, TR over OU is equal to RY over UT and equal to TY over OT, name the two similar triangles. So, dito naman, ang binigay lang is yung mga proportional or corresponding sides niya. Pero, walang given na triangle. Pero, ba't may triangle ako dito? So, ginamit ko na lang yung triangle na to. Itong triangle na to, total SSS din naman to. Palitan na lang natin ng mga letters. So, TR over OU. So, TR. So, sabihin natin itong side na to. TR, tapos ang corresponding niya is... Oh, Ito, yung ED. So, gawin lang natin OU. Yan. So, TR over OU, then RY over UT. So, ibig sabihin, itong isang natitirang uh, angle or sulok nitong ating triangle is Y, tapos ito ay T. Kasi sabi, segment RY, so ito RY over UT. So, ngayon, nakompleto na natin yung tatlong... Uh, angles na ating triangle okay by using the corresponding sides we can say that triangle TRY TRY is similar to triangle OUT by SSS similarity okay number 5 how do you solve a 30 60 90 right triangle given only the hypotenuse Anyway, ito madali lang. Kung 30, 60, 90, tapos hypotenuse lang ang given, ganito lang ang gagawin mo. So, to solve a 30, 60, 90 right triangle, given only the hypotenuse, get the one half of the hypotenuse. Yun ang una mong gawin. Purin mo yung kalahati ng hypotenuse na given. Pagkatapos, yung kalahati nun, yun yung magiging shorter leg. So, yung kalahati ng hypotenuse, yung shorter leg. Then, kapag nakuha mo na yung shorter leg, i-multiply mo yung shorter leg sa square root of 3 para naman makuha mo yung longer leg. So, yung longer leg niya is square root of 3 times ng shorter leg. And then, makukompleto mo na, meron ka ng sukat ng shorter leg, longer leg, and hypotenuse. So, ganun lang tayo magsasolve ng 30-60-90 right triangle. And that's it. I hope na makatulong ang video ko para mag-guide ka sa pagsagot mo ng mga learning tasks. And don't forget to like this video. I-share mo na rin sa mga kaklase mo para sila rin ay matuto at malaman nila kung paano ba nila sasagutan yung mga learning tasks nila sa mathematics. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on my Facebook page, Reteach Channel. See you again and wag susuko sa math. Andito si Teacher V to help. Goodbye!